Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to install Apache Superset in production environment. So I went through multiple documentations uh, and tried to install but I couldn't find a good proper documentation or a video that will support like how to install it in production. There are many that sub says okay we can install and start but there is nothing that says we are installing it in production environment. So I have created one. So in order to do that I have created a github repository. So I will send link. So the one it's like YouTube assets but one of them you will find this super set installation and inside this uh, we will go through that so this is a gcp ubuntu server so this is just brand new that i created uh, in the morning and i'm going to uh, install superset on this so i'm going to clear it and now let's just start from scratch so first we're going to do update and upgrade once it is done let's go ahead and install all the dependencies that we need let me copy it again now it is saying python probably it needs python 3.11 now okay let's do it later on it is going to basically give us an error uh, in one of when, when we create a virtual environment so in that case we will see what to do okay so now it is done let's move to the further steps now what we are going to do is we are going to create a directory called as app and then we are going to change the ownership of this app directory to the user that so our current user and then we are going to move inside app so let me just do it step by step so I'm going to copy this and paste it now once it is done what we can do is we can just copy this command we need to edit this command so we need to change the name of the user with the with our user so let me just paste it and replace user with the username that you have so for example here it is and then code so once it is done what we can do is we can just move to app and now we are inside app then inside this app we are going to create a superset directory so basically this is going to be our one of the apps that you can install mini but i just have one so i'll just create a superset then we're going to move inside superset and create virtual environment so here we're going to get error probably so let's see i'm going to create superset and go inside it now we are inside superset directory you can see it's apps and superset now when we are going to run this command we probably are going to get error so in that error it will specify what we need to install so now it is saying we need to install python 3.8 vnv okay now it needs sudo because it's safe to install so okay done now we have installed let's go ahead and create virtual environment our virtual environment is ready now how to activate that virtual environment it is going to be like dot then superset environment inside this directory we are going to have bin and then activate script once it is done we are going to install super uh, setup tools so oops okay fine now you can see that super set in is inside bracket it means our uh, virtual environment is activated now before our name or a username we are going to see this environment name now we are inside that environment name what we can do is we can just install the dependency that we need so for example we need below and then finally the main one that is apache super set so i'm going to copy this and paste it here okay pillow is installed let's install superset this may take some time uh, yesterday i tried on my local uh, ubuntu server it took a lot of time but in gcp probably it will take less time because it will have to download from with higher it will get higher internet speed being on cloud okay so our superset uh, is installed now let's move to next steps 
so what we are going to do is we are going to create a configuration file so if we see now we have a con environment directory and a configuration python a uh, configuration file so superset config.py now we are going to export a superset config path this is going to be our environment variable that what basically it is going to do is it is going to tell superset that okay your configuration file is placed at this path and whenever you run the superset server you need to use it and likewise so let me just uh, uh, create a superset config path and it is ready now we can do is we are going to edit this so what we need to place inside this is also available here so basically you can just copy it and paste it here once placed here i need to point you to two specific things one is secret key so we have to specify your own random generated secret key how we are going to do is it is uh, written in the next step so we'll do that and one more thing that is database URI so this is going to be your metadata database which is going to place uh, uh, write all the information like uh, UI users and everything else and that is fair usually what I do is I create a server which is separate from this like a database server and then specify so for our instance we have PostgreSQL but I don't have it available for experimentation so I'm going to just keep it as it is and the path I have specified is the same path that we have so let me just save it and close it now once uh, we have saved you can see we can create a random uh, secret key using this command so what I'm going to do I'm going to just run it Oops. and copy it once copied let's again open it and paste it paste it here again save it and close okay our configuration part is done now what we can do we can just export flask app so we are going to create another environment variable telling okay this is our, our flask app is superset so done and then we can run superset dp upgrade it is going to create your database and do all the things that is necessary currently you can see we just have two uh, one directory and one python file once i run this then you're going to see it has created a database strange uh, okay let's try installing this hopefully this is going hopefully it will work let's try it again <clears throat> yeah some I guess it is working for your case also this may so earlier when I tried I didn't face this issue but in case if you see you just have to install that dependency once done we are going to create admin so this command it is going to create admin user so how it is going to it is going to ask you questions like what is going to be username I'm, I'm keeping it admin then first name admin last name user email as it is password I'm going to write mine ideally this in production environment you should not do this but okay for me it's fine and if you want to install if you want to load some example you can go ahead and load example but I'm not going to do it it is going to take a lot of time and we're going to initialize superset uh, okay I forgot to show you that database file after this I will show you so you can see uh, pi cache is created this is not something that we are going to look into but you can see superset DB is now created at this location so your database is going to be here so whenever you want to take backup or something you just need to backup all these things and then it should work once done we can create okay so now our configuration part is done now we can start the server so in order to start i am going to create a script in that script we are going to paste a uh, place a code 
which is going to be like this so let me just uh, create it inside this we are going to copy this thing and uh, i'll just tell you what it is it is going to conf export so in case if something like server reboots or something and our environment variable is lost so this is why i have kept it as a, a fail safe and then we're going to activate our environment because all the dependencies python dependencies are installed inside this superset environment and then we're going to start our server please note that this app is uh, hosted on 8088 port you can change it that should not be an issue but you make sure that you have this port open because now we are working in virtual environment and most of the uh, most of the cloud service provider will block this port i mean by default it is not open you have to open it let me save it and close and then in order to run it we have to uh, give it executable permission so i am running it uh, and then we can just start the server by using this this command it is not required okay what do we get okay so this again this is not installed so i'm going to install it in the same environment whenever you install it make sure that we are inside the environment variable now once it is installed let's run it and now our superset server is hopefully running how to verify it let me go to where is oops i'm inside let me go to compute compute engine i just have one i'm going to copy oh okay it directly opened but definitely it is not here you sometime it takes a bit time hopefully the port is opened so guys i just faced one issue like i was feeling it was from firewall but then i realized that uh, this uh, site was running but uh, due to i mean it was having just half a gig of ram uh, the memory was like overflowing so that's why the server didn't uh, i mean it was starting but it was not able to handle that process so i just increased the server to 4 gigs i believe that should be enough but let's see what happens okay now we have this portal let's log in and yes we are inside it now what we can do we can just start we can just oops stop it i mean i was not sure why it was not even stopping so that's why i got kind of worried what happened but now everything is fine so just uh, increasing the ram it uh, worked now once that we uh, we know that our server is running fine i mean it works so what we can do we can just create a service so why we are creating service because it's a it's a production environment so we need to create a service to work so that it will work or run reliably so for example if a server reboots or we do schedule reboots then the service should come automatically online being a web server so we cannot just keep it like this way this is not a good practice so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a service file which is going to be system inside the system md system and i'm going to call it superset service now uh, let's copy the service thing I'll, I'll i'll explain what this is so let me copy it so i'll show what is the important part so we have superset home so we are going to configure two path environment path this is superset home and python path our working directory is app dot superset and then what so basically i am going to focus on execution start so when we call execution start it should go and call app dot superset and then run superset dot sh so this is our run superset dot sh script that we created i am going to save it and close it once it is done what we can do we can just do system so demo reload so it will re, uh, reload our uh, system so services all the services what it has then let me paste it 
okay it needs authentication i don't have this so i am going to do sudo because we are using this key then once this is done now we should ideally have systems this super set service so this is going to enable it that means whenever the server start it is going to start automatically so where it went this is where i'm going to paste it let me just take github page here and now we can start our service so at the end we can start the service that's it and what i can do i can just take do status 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 of superset servlet and it shows that okay this is running now ideally this will take some time again it is going to do all this process and all the things like initialization first this is first time so let's have some patience and wait for it uh you can see detail log just by doing this status again you can see now it is something that like we saw earlier so it is doing something and our service is up and running everything is working fine so this is how we are going to install superset service uh yeah just to be sure once just do restart the server and check like you can just restart the vm and check if everything comes online automatically and so on and in future video i am going to show how to change all the logos and all the customization and then again i'm going to create one more video to take backups like periodic backup like weekly monthly and store it in something like s3 and so on so i'm going to do this series in on superset so if you like do like and share and subscribe uh thanks for watching bye